I'd like to tell you a little bit about our keynote speaker before he begins. Tom Oates is a familiar name and a face to everyone who went through the Watertown Public Schools. He's a lifelong resident of Watertown and graduated from Watertown High School in 1948. He earned his bachelor's degree from Boston University, his master's degree from Suffolk University. Tom began his teaching career in 1954 at the Coolidge School, he moved to the East Junior High School in 1956 and taught there for five years. He became assistant principal at the West Junior High School and then principal. 1975, Tom was appointed the assistant superintendent of the Watertown Public Schools, a position he held until he retired in June of 1992. After 38 years of service in the Watertown school system, over his career and his life, Tom has consistently reached out to his community to give him his time, his talents, and his leadership to the children and the families, the teachers in Watertown. But that picture tells another story of Tom Oates. The Tom Oates that I grew up with, that I was a young boy and idolized, that I was a young boy at the East Junior Playground when he was a park instructor, the young boy that looked at this guy as a big, strong athlete that uh, we all wanted to emulate was the Tom Oates of Boston University. The Tom Oates who still is regarded as one of the all-time great football players at Boston University. One of the greatest athletes to play at Watertown High School, still in the record books of Boston University. A member of the Boston University Hall of Fame and one of the great football players in Watertown High history and our keynote speaker tonight Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Tommy Oates. This is great, I can't see. <laughs> if somebody could put on the light, it would help. <clears throat> okay, do you it's obviously a privilege to appear before you this evening, and I'm delighted. And I want to thank the committee for having given me the opportunity to be here. I think a special welcome to all of you to the second annual Hall of Fame ceremony where we're inducting uh, new members. One of the things I thought I'd like to do, too, is just call your attention to the fact that we have in our midst uh, somebody who will be honored later in the evening but if we're going to start any ceremony, we should say, Joe Hyde, he's the oldest living letterman in Watertown. And Joe, uh, we'd like to just say, All right, with your permission, I'd like to begin my remarks this evening with a very short uh, verse. It starts this way, it says, there, there was a very cautious man. He never romped or played. He never drank or smoked or kissed a pretty maid. So when he passed away, his insurance was denied. For since he never lived, they claimed he never died. <laughs> Tonight we're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about achievement. We're going to talk about excellence. And I think all of us strove for that for all of our years as athletes in this community. I'm going to address my remarks to three points, and I hope I can cover them so that uh, I can reach my own goal here. First of all, the value of athletics to the school and to the community. The reward of athletics to an individual, and last but not least, I think I need to raise your awareness of the potential for athletics and sports in general to be chipped away during very difficult financial times. I've spent my adult life working in your schools as your servant. I speak with authority, I think, about how sports belong in schools. There are always economic squeezes, there always will be, and there are people in the community who begin to think perhaps we can't afford an athletic program. Hear my words, man the barricades. If some of our fellow citizens have their way, 
Sports would be sacrificed on the altar of priorities which fail to recognize the importance, and that's the key, and I'm going to try to make that for you this evening. What is the importance of athletics in a school? Well, I think to an educator, it may have several really important meanings. The development of skills, I think, are very important. The development of character. Giving a kid an opportunity to assimilate the personality of his team, which is going to help him when he goes out into society. The ability to get along with other people that maybe normally he wouldn't even care to speak to. He's got to do that as he takes on the role of a teammate. I think the challenge to go further than you've ever gone before and to be tested in a way that you can't be tested in anything short of real life war combat. In athletics, you can find that. That's a test and it's a value. And it's one of the things I believe very strongly. You know, many of our people believe that they're never going to die. They really believe they're invincible. They're indestructible. And surely there aren't any rules that are made that could control them and hold them. And what does athletics do in, in that light and in that scene? You can't play athletics if you don't know how to follow rules. And I think that's one of the very important things. It's a reality check. The things that I get a kick out of is that uh, everyone in sports has to learn the rules or you're born. You're banished. I've been banished from a few teams, and I know that this is probably true. Uh, I think sports also teach you that there's, there's no place to go when your opponent is testing your courage, he's testing your skill, and there's no place to go. You've got to hang in there. You've got to learn to compete. And I think that's one of the great lessons that, that athletics brings. Let me tell you a story about a dumb football player. Kind of a cute story. Let's say this kid's from Belmont. <laughs> He was having trouble with his grades. Belmont kid. His services were needed for the Thanksgiving game, obviously. So they called him into the principal's office and they thought they'd give him a, a re-examination. They decided on a one-question test. So he, they brought him in, sat him down, and the principal said, okay, what's the capital of Massachusetts? Kid sweated a little bit, took his paper, wrote framing. <laughs> he passed. <laughs> School board decided.